Derek and I have worked together for five years at a small business magazine. He's my copy editor, but he's way too critical. I guess you could argue it's his job, but we work for a business magazine. Derek was a really outgoing kid until the first grade when we moved to Texas and he introduced us to the class as fertile twins. The teacher corrected him in front of everyone that we weren't fertile twins, we were fraternal twins, and that fertile was a term for women who could have babies. The whole class just erupted in laughter. They they all just started chanting, fertile boy. Fertile boy, fertile boy, fertile. <laughs> Derek was my roommate in college and didn't say a whole lot, but within the first month of classes, he started asking to proofread my essays. I just assumed that he was an awkward virgin that needed my help talking to girls, and he, he was, but he never asked for my help. He just kept asking for my essays. I met Derek on a dating app, and I liked that his pet peeve was grammatical errors. Now it's just tearing us apart. How am I supposed to know it's Valentine's Day when you told me the wrong date? I said February 14th. February is not a month. Today is February 14th. For my last article, Top 10 Staplers for a Shared Workspace, Derek had 132 edits. There were only 120 words. What I'd really like to do with the stapler is shove it up his Hey guys, what's going on? Derek, can you just sit down? I can sit down, but may I sit down? Just fucking sit down! Whoa, what's with the derogatory adverb? This is an intervention. The obsession with the grammar correcting has to stop. James? You asked me to edit your thesis paper like two days ago. Yeah, I actually came over here to pick that up and got roped into all this. I respect your commitment to punctuation. I'm trying to get through law school. Well, with informal sentence structure, you're not going to, right guys? Gotta. Liz, go ahead. Derek, while I love that you're my first boyfriend to have ever read a book, I'm worried you use the English language to push me away. Your incessant criticism negatively affects my self-esteem and cripples excuse my ability me? to- Excuse me, wait, wait. Did you say negatively effects? It really hurts my feelings when you laugh at my comma placement on your birthday card when I spend hours on the calligraphy. Okay, it's affected, it's affected. Effected is- funny. No one gives a shit. I do. Look, buddy, out of all of us, I understand the importance of quality copy editing. I actually more than understand it. I actually appreciate it. You can leave. For sure. I just need to grab that paper with those, those edits. Oh, th uh, that's in my room. Thanks, bro. Like I was saying, as a writer, I value your work. Oh, tell that to your overuse of past tense verbiage. <laughs> You're the laziest writer in the office. Yeah, I am lazy. I write for a magazine no one reads. I read it. That's our point! You are so obsessed with words, you are completely disconnected from the world around you. Take last month at Uncle Dave's funeral. You interrupted Nana's eulogy just to correct her and embarrass her in front of the entire church. Okay, yeah, but there is no such thing as a mute point. She is a 94-year-old woman who just buried her son. I'm not seeing the papers. Oh, check the bottom drawer of my bedside table. You know what, okay, 94 years is enough time to know that it's moot. I checked the drawers, man. You, oh, look under the computer that's on top of my dresser. Okay. Babe, we're here because we love you and we want I, the- I'm just trying to get out of the office before six. I'm sorry. We want you to see the big picture, right? So you can engage in life and make connections. Well, we already connected twice this morning. Jeez. I meant emotional connection. It's like you don't even fucking care about me. Now I don't care about you? Last week you got mad at me for going through your texts. Yeah, for grammatical errors. I mean, you didn't even see the nudes I sent to our FedEx guy. Photography has never really been my forte. Plus, you're the one who's always complaining about your past boyfriends being dumb. Yeah, because they dumped me. The only time you should be correcting someone's grammatical errors is if they're hotter, richer, or they cheated on you. You just correct everyone, and it's so pathetic. Derek, look around you. You can't even finish a simple bookshelf because you get so caught up in the direction. Okay, have you ever tried to read an Ikea manual? It's like Sweden has never heard of a semicolon. Do you hear yourself? No one's ever tried to read an Ikea manual. Be a normal person and guess where the pieces go. Yeah, because that's normal. You know what? I bet your apartment is just as sloppy as your review of Amazon standing desk. What the fuck did you just say about Don't me? Don't ruin his face, it's all I have. Sorry, I'm really just not seeing it anywhere. Maybe it's at your office? Jesus, Derek, what is it gonna take? You spend your entire life pushing people away so no one would laugh at you, but look around. No one is laughing. 
I mean, it's not as if I don't have a job or a girlfriend. The only reason you have a job is because if I fire you, I have to replace you, even though the whole office wants me to. Yeah, same for me. The whole office? Every single person. I mean, like, how could I even stop? It's an impulse at this point. We've actually found a place for people like you. It's a 30-day retreat of constant reality TV to raise your tolerance to dum-dums. I could literally hear you saying the wrong you're in that sentence. Okay, fine. I'll go. Thank you. Oh my god. This is not- Derek, drop the pen! God! Is it possibly in a bag you don't usually use? After 30 days of watching the entirety of the Jersey Shore series, I've realized that the world's stupidity is simply out of my control. I do my best to avoid direct triggers, which is why I quit my job and broke up with Elizabeth. But at least now I can release my frustration in a healthy work environment. You call that a credit report, you sad excuse for a CPA? Ugh. Hi, I'm Sven Johnson. Things got a little weird with Comedy Central, so subscribe here and subscribe to my channel, and you might get to see me keep whipping Tim. Tim, you wanna go grab lunch now? Mm -hmm. All right, let's get out of here.